trying to contain my excitement. My son's out here, so if he interrupts, I'm sorry, but I just talked to him, so hopefully he won't. Now, okay, guys, I had to take this flyer down because I just got it like a week ago. Um, for Mother's Day, we we put a lot of plants out here and stuff, and it's dying on me, okay? It's dying on me, and sorry about that. And so, finally, I was like, all right, I got to take this down and figure out what's going on with this thing and why is it dying. Now, well, we I had, um, I had had a vision, okay, I had had a vision of a bird, and it was feeding a baby bird a worm, and behind it, um, behind it was another bird that the baby bird did not see, and the the bird that was behind it knocked the bird off of its nest, and it died. It fell to the ground and died. In the next part of the vision, I saw that bird that knocked it down sitting atop its nest like it was just so proud. Um, and so, that was the vision I had. Now, the Lord showed me that the pink moon that we just had, okay, he had me researching it because he gave me a vision of a pink, of the of an egg moon. And so I thought, oh, I gotta find out when an egg moon is. Well, well I, I guess they right? use, they call it Bobby. Well, no, man, okay, please, it's the third time, third video. Okay, so, um, <laughs> and so, what was I saying? Man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to... Okay. So, the Lord gave me a vision of an egg moon. And whenever I went to go look up egg moon, it happened to be the exact same moon that's the pink moon. Okay? They used to call it the egg moon as well because of Easter. And, of course, we all know that that, that moon went blood red, which was scientifically, astronomically impossible to happen. Okay, that right there is a miracle in itself, and why people are not speaking about that more, I don't know, because before the great and terrible day of the Lord, the moon will turn red, and the sun will not shine its light, okay, and and we, we, we need to think about that right there, just, just have a moment and pray on that, because I know what the Lord has shown me, guys, and so many key things that the Lord has shown me has now come to pass, okay? I've tried to make another video today several times that, um, bub, bub, hey, back up and give me a moment, please. I tried to make a video, um, earlier about another vision that's coming true about these lizards, okay, that after the swan flew in and then it turned into a lizard while well, the swan comet went by and now I have these lizards at my house and now they're also trapped in my garage. So they just keep inching closer and closer. And when I opened the door today, this thing, that lizard was like at the door, okay? I was so freaked out. I had to, ugh. I don't really hate lizards that much, guys. But after having the dream about it, and now watching these things just get closer and closer to me, is just freaking me out, you know? Because I know what it means spiritually. And because I know what it means spiritually, I know what's coming. I'm trying to wrap my mind around all these things happening right now. I mean, you wouldn't even, I can't even describe how many little things um, are coming true from my dreams and visions, guys. So many that it's unreal and that hasn't happened before ever, okay? Ever. Uh, none of mine have been, they just all came true like within a month of each other, okay? So, when I go to take down this plant, oh, also, a brother in Christ about three years ago had a dream, okay? about him holding this bird's nest of golden eggs and then the next part of the dream first he saw a separation and then the next part of the dream the next part of the dream um he was holding a bird's nest in his hand with three golden eggs okay and then the next part he was in a flat suit and he was gonna go he had to he was like being like told to go out right he used to be in the army he was being like told he was gonna have to leave and he was gonna be gone okay and so as soon as i saw this i thought oh my gosh 
oh my gosh, James's dream, you know, that's the first thing I thought of, because that's something, I don't know, for some reason, the Holy Spirit has had that stuck with me for a while, because at the time, we didn't even realize the significance of it, and I'm, I still don't. Okay, there's a lot in the Bible, there's, there's a few scriptures about, um, mother and children, okay, and that's what the Lord gave me a, a vision of t yesterday night. I heard the mothers and the children of the 144,000. And then mothers and children. Okay, I heard those words. And then I saw myself in a wheelchair. And I was being wheeled by Rhonda Empson. And we just walked down this like hallway. Walked, up, walked off, okay. And I knew that it was Rhonda just because in my spirit I knew I heard her name like I knew that was who it was but I didn't see her um, I just saw like the back of the person and it definitely could have been her and um, and I, I don't know her at all like I mean I've seen her videos and stuff but I don't know who she is I've never talked to her or I might have talked to her a couple times I've had a few dreams um, and that, that was kind of correlated with some stuff that she's she's had that came in at the, at the same time but but it didn't really go anywhere um or our conversation didn't go anywhere right and so i know right now the lord's showing me the mothers and children okay and then just a few ago this is not confirmed by the lord i just feel that the holy spirit i'm finally starting to tie some things together that we might possibly um be as Jonah was and be given the former and latter reigns possibly on Pentecost and go out for 40 days and prophesy about the day of the Lord in that the Lord will tear their children away and um, and there goes the children's stuff the mother and children's stuff now um, in the vision, Rhonda was to represent the mother of the mothers. I don't really, I haven't gotten far, far into it, guys. I'm just giving you what I've been given. Also, real quick, let me finish up the egg thing and then I have a couple more things to add. Now, look, hold on, Bubba. Okay, do you see this bird's nest? I'm trying not to get close to it. I don't want the bird to say, get away. I don't want the bird to leave it, you know? But guys, the bird tore my, my my flower up, tore it up, and made a bird's nest in it. It's been here like a week. It made a bird's nest in there like a week a week or two after I had the vision. After my son um, came outside, told me the exact story of my vision, which was nuts. Came outside and told me that, and like here it is pure white eggs too pure white i don't see a spot or freckle on them they have a little bit of, of mud but but they are just pearl pearl white they're pearl white eggs um, <laughs> could god be any <laughs> i mean to others that they, they just be like yeah it's coincidence no it's not there's just too many coincidences guys this coincides with our with our time our, this is our time guys and i don't know exactly when that is and i'm trying to guard my heart that i'm not broken that it's not any not sooner than i think or that it might be longer than i'm hoping for but guys uh, these signs are starting to get to where um so many are happening that I feel it's too good to be true. Um, that that this is what I imagined would would happen um, when the time came, and now that we've been watching for so long, it's hard. I think I know you guys out there can understand um, what I'm trying to say. Now, um, besides the egg thing, let's let's put that aside. And um, there's a couple words that the Lord has given me now. I've um, said that the Lord said, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, um, I'm coming right now, you know, and um, now I got the words, <laughs> damn, now I got the words that says, I'm on my way, no, 
Okay, either, I can't, it's so hard to remember. I wrote it down, but it's, he was saying, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming quickly. Um, I believe that's what he said, actually. Um, if, if I, I'll go back and check, and if it's different, I'll put it in the description below. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry. I have a really hard time with memory, and I know that that's, feels, that's a cool word to be given, and I feel so bad, Lord God, that I have forgotten the exact words, but... But, the Lord Gay has given this to me two weeks in a row, right about, right at waking, on the same days. And so, one moment, I'm almost, okay, you can look at the eggs, baby. And so, um, watch out. Thank you. And so, you guys are going to look at this. I find this so interesting. I always think of, of, um, one, no, you cannot pick them up. Don't touch near it. Give me just one second. All right, guys, I just have something to add real quick. Um, the word I've received the words, the Juan de Fuca, the Juan de Fuca, the Juan de Fuca fault. 